Right, here we go. I love juggling. I, uh, I love it so much, I'm addicted to it. But I'm addicted to these particular types of juggling balls. They're plutonium wrapped in blue asbestos and covered in fresh shit. I know, I know it's stupid, but I'm addicted. What can I do? Uh, and I became addicted when I saw a David Lynch film that had a clown juggling these balls. And I thought, that looks so cool. I've got to do it. And millions of other kids obviously had the same idea because before long, the entire country was addicted to these juggling balls. And the great thing about them was that they were so cheap that it didn't matter if, if you lost one or two, if they rolled underneath a car or whatever, you could just dump them, go into a newsagent and get another set because they were everywhere uh, and really cheap and plentiful. And when I was growing up, I had such fun with my mates. We'd go out to cinemas, nightclubs, restaurants, and we'd always take our juggling balls with us. So if the urge came upon us, we'd just whip them out and we'd start juggling them. But there was a group of people who objected to our habit. These people were called smokers. <laughs> and they complained that they couldn't taste their cigarettes because the atmosphere was always full of the smell of shit. And they complained that the balls sometimes would knock the cigarettes out of their hands, would get on their clothes or even land in their food. And we said, well, you know, we'll try and be careful, but uh, it's a free country, you know, so uh, sorry about that. Anyway, they weren't happy about it and they decided to form groups to put pressure on the government to do something about this, this dueling habit. Uh, because they didn't like what we did. I don't know what we'd done to upset them, but they were trying to punish us in some way. But fortunately, we had big nuke on our side because uh, they had lots of plutonium to sell uh, and they made lots of money f from it. So they, uh, they lobbied on our behalf and basically told the government, don't mess with jugglers, all right? But these fascist smokers, every opportunity they got, they would, you know, restrict where we can juggle and how we can juggle. And uh, we thought it was a free country. We were wrong, you know. So anyway, um, then this scientific evidence started to come out that said that these balls might be bad for you. They said you could get radiation sickness, you could get cancer and e, you know, e. coli infections. How we laughed at that. Uh, I mean, it was true that some jugglers did seem to die young and a lot of them did seem to get sick quite often. But, you know, I know of one juggler who knows another juggler who juggled for weeks on end and nothing happened to him. Um, and anyway, so uh, uh, the new PR, they said that, no, they refuted all the evidence and said, no, there's absolutely no evidence that, uh, that links that. And in fact, the public welcomed juggling because it brings merriment to their otherwise drab lives. But the smokers, they said, no, it's our right to be able to enjoy our cigarettes in whatever environment we happen to find ourselves in. If we want to look upon our newborn in a maternity unit, we want to do it without having shitty balls falling all around us. <laughs> anyway, the evidence started to stack up about uh, these juggling balls. And, um, you know, we still said, no, we don't believe it, you know. But it was starting to mount. But we said, well, you know, until there's a direct correlation between juggling balls and uh, cancer or whatever, we don't believe it because there's so many things in the environment. I mean, who's to say it's not cigarettes themselves that cause some of these diseases? It's anybody's guess, isn't it? So then, uh, they, what smokers forget as well is that the juggling balls provide jobs for the UK, you know, and it, uh, it gives lots of tax revenue to the government. So if you were to ban juggling, if you stop juggling, the economy would collapse. It didn't help. The government banned it, and uh, we still deny that there's any link, but we still manage to maintain our juggling privileges, so at work we have juggling breaks. We have to, we have to use non-lethal balls and go outside, but still, you know, we're skiving while they're working. And of course, Big Nuke, uh, they had to find new markets, because, you know, the market collapsed in this country, so they thought, well, let's look in the, to the third world countries, uh, see if they, um, they want juggling balls. And it turns out that actually the children there they loved juggling balls as well. And so eventually a generation became addicted to them, which was fortunate because that provided a lot of income for the government who needed the money to build hospitals for the epidemic of childhood leukemia cases that sprang up. 
Thank you very much.